Hey, Josie with Queen My Pawn. I'm gonna talk about waiting moves in this video. Waiting can be done in chess just like it can be done in real life. Like when you're waiting for something to download, you do something else. And when it finishes downloading, you can resume doing what you were doing. Except now you have that downloaded thing and you can work with it. It's the same thing in chess. So I'll share the screen to show you what I'm talking about. In this position, White would like to give a checkmate, but that's not possible in this position. If it was black to move, black would play the king to d8 and the queen would come to b8 and give a checkmate. But we can't just say, I'll pass, giving away a free move. That's not part of the rules of chess. So what you can do is you can make a waiting move. A waiting move is a move that retains control of the right color squares or the right squares and technically keeps the position the same. For example, you're controlling b8 right now, preventing the king's escape. A move like queen to b3 would still control the escape squares, b8 and b7, forcing the king to go to d8, and now you can slide over. And you can have many different waiting moves. I could have moved the queen to b1, the queen to b4, even the queen to b5, but definitely not queen to b6 because that prevents, that's too much control at that point. And now you have given black a lack of choice here. So I'm gonna download something by moving queen to b1 the program has finished downloading and now I can work with it. That's exactly how it works. That's not the only thing. If you have a position like this, one that knows pawn endings knows that the person that moves with their king usually um, will be blocked every time and the king will just copy the other king's movements keeping the same barrier under control so the king wants to go that way so it'll prevent its escape that way but white can make a waiting move he can play pawn to d3 now the king has to go somewhere and then the king moves diagonal upwards and the king will go there and now it's black's move again and um the position just keeps going and this is forced basically and now it's going to be a promotion so that's the power of waiting moves and they can actually occur in middle games too but they're more rare they typically occur in endings it can also happen with rooks for example a rook waiting move because we want to get the rook here but if we try to go there to, D, to B3 so that it can go to B8 where we want to get it to, the king escapes the other way. But now you can make a waiting move. And this time, um, rook to F3 would be not so much a waiting move, but it would basically force the king to where you want it to go. A waiting move would really be something like rook to d1. The king has to go either way, and then you just play the rook to the right square. If you went the other way, then you play that rook right there to f1. So that's interesting. So that's definitely a waiting move, just moving the rook somewhere along the d file. So you coax the king into moving back to d8 and give checkmate. So that's the power of waiting moves. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.